All right, so welcome to my tier 100 Rick Sanchez gameplay and review video. So technically, there's no longer tiers in the Battle Pass. Instead, we've got pages. So this is the page 10 last skin that you can unlock in the Battle Pass. Pretty much tier 100. So I've seen a lot of controversy about this. A lot of people are excited. They're happy that we've got this awesome crossover between Rick and Morty and Fortnite. And then other people are a little disappointed because they say, what? A crossover collaboration for a tier 100? Are you kidding me? Now, if you've never seen Rick and Morty, then I could understand the frustration because you probably have no idea who this is, much less are you interested in this as your tier 100 skin. So I get it, but I love Rick and Morty myself. It's a little inappropriate for younger kids though, so I also understand if you've never seen it before. So let's dive in and see if Rick Sanchez is worthy of the tier 100 spot. Now real quick before I start, he does have an additional style called Toxic Rick, which if you've seen that episode, it's pretty hilarious. This is all the negative energy in this being, so this is the complete negative Rick. But in order to get this, you have to, number one, be over level 100, and number two, unlock it with enough battle stars. I don't even have enough to get it yet myself. So I will cover that later. So right now we're just gonna focus on what's in the battle pass. So I've got the entire set here. And by the way, this is his description, the Rickest Rick of them all, part of the Rick C-137 set. So everything they reference about the show is spot on. If you've seen Rick and Morty, you know he is C-137, and he says that all the time when referring to himself, the Rickest of the Ricks. Now they did an interesting choice for a backblade. This is the Butter Robot. He only appears, as far as I can remember, in one single episode. And it's actually quite sad because Rick makes this guy on the fly as he's eating pancakes just to deliver his butter. And then the robot asks Rick, what is my purpose? And he quite bluntly says to pass butter and then the robot gets all depressed. So somehow this robot has a conscience as well, which just proves how smart Rick is. Look at those eyes. So that's back bling. Now, I kind of figured we wouldn't get a Morty character, so they did something pretty clever here. This is Hammerhead Morty. He is in a few episodes of Rick and Morty. Basically just a side character. Again, if you've seen the show, you know there's multiple universes, so there's multiple Rick and Mortys. And this is one of the Mortys. But as I was saying, I knew he wouldn't be a character because Morty is so small. You can't make a small character like that in Fortnite. So what they did here was pretty clever. They made him into a pickaxe using one of his alternate forms. Now, of course, for a glider, you've got Rick's UFO cruiser. This thing is in nearly every episode. It's pretty advanced. So I thought we'd see a lot of its potential on display here, but as I'm about to show you in game, it's pretty lackluster, but we'll get to that. Now we do have a copyrighted emote, which is unfortunate. I can't believe they couldn't get the rights to this song. This is like a 20 second dance in one of the first few episodes. Basically, Rick has a party invites people from all over the universe, and then he busts out this dance and song routine. And all it says is, it's the Rick dance, over and over. But for some reason, it's copyrighted. So that stinks. Cool dance, cool emote, bummer that it's copyrighted. And lastly, we've got Rick's portal wrap, which is just animated. That is basically the portal that his portal gun makes. And again, if you've seen the show, you should be very familiar with that. But it's not reactive and it's a nice color. It's kind of got that galaxy effect when you move it. I do enjoy that. So let's hop into a match. We'll check this out. He does not have a contrail. So I just put the artifact that's a PlayStation exclusive. So here we go. First, Rick's UFO cruiser. I'll be quiet so you can hear the deploy noise. Here we go again. So it's got a nice deploy. And when you don't move, you can kind of hear it make some UFO type noises. Listen. All right, how about when we press forward? Again, you get that UFO type noise. And backwards. And then left. And right. So like I said, in the show, this thing can do it all. It's almost like it's got a conscience of its own. But here, we see pretty much nothing. You see trash cans on the side. You can't even see into it. And like I said, it's pretty lackluster. I was very disappointed in this when I first saw it. 
But I guess what could they make it do? I don't know. I just thought it would just do something. So a little disappointing right off the bat. Nice deploy noise though, and nice deploy animation. Alright, so the first thing to note, obviously, is that this is almost like a cell shaded character sprite. So it's definitely not like any other skin that we currently have in the game. It's not quite cell shaded so that's why I say that, but it doesn't look like any normal Fortnite skin. But obviously they were trying to represent what he looks like in the Rick and Morty show. And I think they did spot on. This is a fair replica of exactly what the show looks like. They did a great job for Rick Sanchez here. So because he looks like this, he almost stands out a lot, which is kind of cool. I really, really like the design. Now, if we stand still, let's take a look at the butter robot. You can see he does try to pass the butter and he's just all sorts of animated. He looks around like, hey, you want a piece of butter? Hey, you want a piece of butter? And he tries to serve it and pass it. And then he'll bend all the way over and kind of bow to you. So not much else there. I thought for sure he'd maybe say something because he does talk in the show, but he does not do or say much else other than show the butter to people. And if you jump up and down, nothing seems to happen. When you run, he just does the same animation as when you're stationary. So I don't know. Again, a little disappointing. I think they could have done a little more with him, especially for the tier 100 skin. So it's almost nighttime, so we're gonna take a look real quick. Let me spin him around again. I see nothing that could be animated or glow, but we're gonna see as the nighttime approaches. Let's see if the butter robot lights up at all. Maybe his eye there. No, not really. All right, let's spin him around again. Yeah, so nothing really is glowing on this character and nothing really is animated other than the butter robot itself. So here's the wrap at nighttime. You can see this is fully animated. And again, it's not reactive. So it doesn't really fit the color scheme of this skin. But, as I mentioned, it is from the show. And it's a good representation of the portal in the show as well. It's just, there's no green or yellow on him at all. So I understand why they did it. But if you're a combo perfectionist, it's not really good for this skin. It looks cool though. I do like that portal effect. Let's show it on the RPG. All right, so here's the swing animation for the Hammer Morty pickaxe. So does it have a contrail? It's really hard to see if it does. Let me go in the shade here a second. I mean, there is a contrail, but it's more like an after image from the actual Morty himself. I don't know, we can consider that a contrail. It's like a yellow greenish glow. All right, how about a splash effect? So it definitely has an awesome splash. You can see that puff of smoke that's green and yellow. That is pretty wicked, I like that. Not a lot of people appreciate the splash effect of a pickaxe, but I, for one, do. Now there is one cool feature about this pickaxe. When you look all the way up like this, you can see his eyes are just freaking out everywhere. But you as the user can't really see this because you never really see his eyeballs. So it's kind of a wasted animation. But again, if you look all the way down like this, you can see he's so nervous, he's so sketchy, and then his eyes roll back completely there. So that's kind of cool. But again, you can't really witness it yourself. Now, once again, I think they missed a huge opportunity here to have Morty's voice be on here. But who knows, maybe they couldn't get the voices of Rick and Morty who are actually voiced by the same person. But I felt like when you hit something, he should talk. He should say something. There should be a Morty quote every time you swing this. So let's see if he's secretly reactive in any way. I'm going to drink some shield real quick. I don't really see any possible way he could be reactive, but nothing happened there. Let's get in a limb and see if the butter robot does anything. Here we go. Nope, same animation. Let's try again here. Nope, still trying to pass the butter. I didn't really think he could be reactive because, like I said, there's not really much that could change on him. He's just got that lab coat on, and that's about it. 
So I'll be completely honest here, for a tier 100 skin, I'm a little disappointed. As I mentioned, there was a lot of missed opportunity with the skin itself, with the back bling, with the pickaxe, and with the glider. There's so much more they could have done to spruce this tier 100 skin up. Now the fanboy inside of me, because I love Rick and Morty, I appreciate this as a tier 100 skin. But if I had no idea who this was, if I was not a fan of Rick and Morty, I think I'd be disappointed. Maybe a little less so if it was in the middle of the battle pass or the tier 1 skin, but for a tier 100, it's gotta have something special other than this just being an awesome collaboration with the show Rick and Morty itself. I guess you could argue that the cell shaded effect is special, but for a tier 100 skin, I think people want tons of styles. They want animation, they want glow, they want stuff like that that makes you wanna run it. But who knows, maybe the collaboration itself is enough to run it. But if you don't know what it is, then I don't know. Would you be interested in this if you didn't know who this was? It's an old geezer, for crying out loud. Don't get me wrong, Rick, I love you. Now maybe the Toxic Rick has some special features, we'll have to see. And I'll do a review on that when I unlock it. But I can't help but feel just a little disappointed in this tier 100 skin. So that's my opinion. Let me know in the comments, what do you guys think about this? Do I make some solid arguments here or am I just nitpicking? Like I said, I love the skin, I do. And I appreciate Rick and Morty, so I do enjoy this as a tier 100. But I don't think a lot of people will. So that's it, that's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supported creator code, which is TaborTime.